Hello, welcome to another Kingdom Adventures lesson. I am Auntie Sandra, but today I am coming to you as Deborah, the prophetess who judged Israel. Now Israel was oppressed for 20 years and treated very harshly by King Jabin of Canaan and his and his army commander Sisera who had 900 iron chariots because the Israelites were disobedient to God. Now one day as I was sitting under the palm tree I called Barak and I said to Barak hasn't the Lord God commanded you to take 10,000 of your soldiers and march against Sisera? Hasn't the Lord told you that he would give you the victory? So Barak said to me, If you go, I will go. If you don't go, I won't go. But because God had given him an instruction, I said, Yes, I will go with you. But the victory will not be yours, for God will give Sisera into the hand of a woman. So, Barak, myself, and the 10,000 soldiers, we marched towards the Sisera's 900 iron chariots, and we defeated them. But as that battle was in progress, Sisera ran for his life, and he ran into the tent of Jael, whose husband Heber was his ally. Sisera was so exhausted that he fell asleep. But while he slept, Jael killed him. Now, Barak came up to Jael and he asked, Have you seen Susira? And she led him into her tent where she showed him the dead leader. Because of Barak's obedience to God, the Israelites were at peace for 40 years. Have God given you an instruction? Our life lesson says from Micah chapter 6 verses 8. He has showed thee, O man, what is good. And what doth the Lord require of thee? But to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly before your God. Is God your God? I invite you, let God be your God today. Let us pray. O oh, Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise. Father God, we thank you for every person that is listening to this lesson today. We pray, O oh God, that they will walk justly before you. They will walk humbly before you. They will love mercy, O oh Lord God. And Father God, we pray above all else that they will be obedient to your voice. Father God, we pray that they have a great week. And we thank you, O Lord God, for doing a new thing in their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Your challenge this week is to spend 10 minutes a day with God. Whether it is 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, or 10 minutes in the evening. Spend time learning the voice of God. So when you hear him speak to you and he gives you an instruction, you will be obedient to do what God says to do. Thank you for tuning in this week for another Kingdom Adventures lesson. Our lesson today was taken from Judges chapter 4 verses chapters 4 to 5. I encourage you to go and read the lesson and study and be obedient to the voice of Almighty God. Thank you.